New at 11, if you had to commute either to or from North Carolina today, the coastal storm likely threw a major wrench in the route to your destination. Yeah, this is no joke. Our Julia Richardson joins us in the control room. Julia, you spoke with a Grand Strand woman who ended up stranded in North Carolina due to all that flooding on Highway 17. What did she tell you about her ordeal? Well, Rachel and Eric, when I talked to Little River, River resident Amanda Dry, she had been stuck in Brunswick County for about nine hours. Up until a little bit ago, she said she thought that she would have to spend the night in a Dollar General parking lot. Dry tells me she was driving on the highway from Little River towards New Bern when traffic started to back up around the Bolivia area. She says she was stopped for a little bit and all of a sudden the highway started to flood, trapping both she and several other drivers. She tells me she was able to get off of 17 and go to that Dollar General nearby, but several other drivers are still stuck on the highway. Dry claims she knew there would be rain, but was not anticipating this outcome. This came out of nowhere. I think that's, that's the biggest thing that got me is because I knew that it was gonna rain and I knew that I wanted the truck, but I mean, when I tell you it was just some heavy rain, like, oh man, this sucks, to next thing I know, I'm opening the door of my truck and the water's at the, at the, the footsteps and there's airboats on the highway. Like, this happened so quickly. Dry told me about 30 minutes ago that she was able to find a way back to Little River, but she saw several abandoned cars on her way there. The Brunswick County Sheriff's Office is working to deliver food, water, and other supplies to those still stranded on the road. Live in the control room, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.